Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of creating e-commerce website template using HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. Till last video you learned about creating responsive navbar, sidebar menu and image slider. Now in this video we will create featured category section and on sale product section. Before starting this video I will request you to please subscribe my channel AG Tutorials so that you will never miss my new video. Now let's start this tutorial after this image slider we will add featured category section here for that again i'll come to the html file and after this section we will add one comment let's write featured categories and here we will create one section and we will add one div and the class name will be container And for this section also we will write one class name that is featured categories. Now in this container we will create three columns. For that first we will add one row. And in this row we will create three columns. For that I am using call md4 that is bootstrap class. And in the first column we will add one image. This is my image. And simply I will duplicate this column and just change the image file name and now the third one so this is my third image now I will refresh my website so that you can see these three images over here now we need to align it For that I'll copy this class name for this section and first of all we will write one comment here also. Featured categories CSS and we will put this class name here and for this class we will write one margin top and bottom 50 pixel and left and right 0. And for this image we will write width 100% and some padding. Transition 1 second, cursor pointer. Now I will refresh this one so that you can see it is aligned properly. Now we will add hover effect on this image for that I am writing this one hover and after that I will write transform scale 1.1. Now you can see when I will take cursor over this image you can see a zoom effect these images we can link to the different categories page after this featured category section we will add one more section for that first of all I will write one comment on sale products and again I am creating one section and the class name will be on sale. Here also we will add one container. And in this container, we will add one title. So I am creating one div and the class name will be title box. And in this title box, I am writing one title that is on sale in h2 tag. Now I will refresh my page so that you can see this title at the bottom. Now we will come to the CSS and here we will write one comment now I'll copy this class name for this title write it in the CSS file and we will add 
background color and the font color and width of this title box some padding and height margin bottom also display flex now I will refresh this one so that you can see a orange color below this text now again I will copy this title box and after that I'll write h2 and the font size will be 24 pixel now you can see this title is aligned perfectly in this title box now again I will copy this title box here and here I'll write after then content border top 40 pixel solid orange color border right and this will be transparent position absolute display flex margin top and margin left now I'll refresh this page so that you can see this stylist title box after this title box we'll add some products for that we'll create four different column so first of all I'll write one class name row and in this row we'll create columns so here I'll write call md3 And after that there will be one div and the class name will be product top and after that I am adding one image this is the product image now I'll refresh my website so that you can see this product image over here After this image, we'll create one more div and the class name will be overlay right. And in this div, we'll add some buttons. The title will be quick shop. This will be the first button. Here we will add one icon also. So simply I'll add this one here, this icon. Now simply I'll duplicate this one. And just I'll replace this title, add to wish list and icon also. Now we'll add the third icon. The title will be add to cart. And this icon also. Shopping cart. Now I'll refresh my website so that you can see three buttons over here. Just below this image. After this product top div, we'll add one more div and the class name will be product bottom. And here I'm using one class name called text center. 
and first we'll add one icon simply I'll duplicate this one to add multiples star icon here this will be star half and after that I'll write the product name in h3 tag and after this name we'll add product price now I will refresh my website so that you can see this a star rating title and product price Now we'll copy this class name product top and come to the CSS. First I'll write one comment here. Product top CSS. And here I'll write image width 100%. Now I'll copy this class name overlay right. Display block opacity zero. Position absolute. Top 10%. Margin left zero. width 70 pixel now we'll write code for this icon cursor pointer background color white color black height 35 pixel width 35 pixel font size 20 pixel padding 7 pixel margin top 5% margin bottom 5% now again I'll copy this one here overlay right and after that I'll write this button class and for this button we'll write background none border none box shadow none and we'll add important here Now again I'll copy this one product top and hover then overlay right. So when you will hover this product top will make the opacity 1, margin left will be 5%, transition 0.5 second. Now let's refresh this website. Now you can see when I will take cursor over this product image, these buttons are coming from the left side. Now we'll write one comment in CSS file that is product bottom CSS. And let's copy this class name here product bottom dot fa for this star rating the color will be orange font size 10 pixel 
again I'll use this class name and then I'll write h3 for this product title font size font weight and again I'll copy this one and paste it here and just I'll change this to h5 that is for product price Now I'll refresh my website so that you can see our first product is ready. You can see this button title when I will take cursor over this button. Now I'll come to the HTML file and simply I'll copy this entire column and again paste it okay so this will be my second product I'll change the image product2.jpg and here I can change the star rating and product title and this one is price now again I will copy this one and paste it here this will be the third product and the product image star rating product title and price again I'll paste it here this will be the fourth column here I'm writing the fourth image name this a star rating then product title and finally price now I will refresh my website so that you can see there are four different products over here so this is how you can easily add featured categories and beautiful product widget also let me change the screen size so that you can see this website is responsive for a small device also in the next part we will create new product section and our website featured section. If this video is helpful for you please like and comment on this video and see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.